What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine and we're here at another local Y. This is one of the primary Ys that we use for all our scuba training. And we get asked a couple times a year to come out by the aquatics director both here and at another Y to teach their lifeguards how to recover a diver off the bottom of the pool. Now, of course, we're, we've got contingency plans put in order and we're teaching diver rescue between diver and diver. But this is more for the lifeguards than the divers themselves because they need to understand how to get us from the bottom to the surface. They also need to understand exactly how to manipulate our gear while underwater to assist them in getting them up. So we're actually teaching them several different methods. Uh, we've explained physics to them and how it works, but we've also explained reality to them, meaning they're going to do whatever it takes to get that diver off the bottom. Unlike a diver who is rescuing or saving another diver who has air and has plenty of time to work underwater, lifeguards don't have that. They can't breathe underwater like we can as rescue divers, so we're teaching them any and all means to get that person to the surface. So once we get them up here to the surface, we're going to teach them a couple of different methods as far as how to get them out of the gear, how to secure them, even how to get them out of the pool. But come along with us today, watch these techniques. If you got any suggestions for these lifeguards, please put it down in the comment section below because they'll definitely be watching this video to review it. But this is something that we really enjoy doing. Not only does it introduce these lifeguards to the world of scuba diving, it also keeps us safe by teaching them the techniques of how to bring us up. So come along with us and we'll see how good they do. All right, whenever you're ready. There you go. Buddy <laughs> McKinney. Good job. Lay him on his back. Took me a second to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job.
So there you go guys, we just got finished up. We taught these lifeguards several different methods of how to bring a diver up from the bottom. Now, one thing that we did stress to them is the physics behind this, and we talked about air embolisms and lung ruptures and stuff like that, but we also talked about reality to them. You know, when we teach a rescue diver course, the rescue diver has a scuba system on, he's able to breathe underwater, and he has all the time in the world to bring that victim up at a slow rate so that he doesn't risk, say, decompression sickness or an air embolism. But when we're dealing with these lifeguards, they don't have that equipment. That's not their job, and they're they're not gonna be able to do the same skill sets, if you will, in, in short, as what a rescue diver is. However, there are some skill sets that they can do. So the first scenario that we set up for them was, it's basically go down, check on the diver make sure that they're not just laying there and then we did allow them to hit that inflator button to bring that diver to the surface because you know the lifeguards they're breath hold diving they can't really do much for us under the water they can only work on us once we're at the surface so their main goal is to get us to the surface as quickly as possible so we let them hit the inflator button on the downside of that though we did talk about the physics and what could happen so we did reset the scenario and let them practice removing weights and actually swimming us up and that was of course to simulate say a non-medical problem but say an out of air situation so we gave them practice on either side now like i said we're not training rescue divers we're just giving the lifeguards a way to practice because we as the divers are going to be the victims in this scenario so we want the lifeguards to have the skill set to be able to bring us up but guys i appreciate you coming on this day with us or on this dive with us if you got any suggestions for the lifeguards put it down in the comment section below because they're all going to be tagged in this video and they're all going to come back and watch it just as a review or as a reflection of their training so put down some suggestions down in the comment section below and let them learn from you guys as well i appreciate you watching the video if you liked it simply smash that like button for me as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.